What's going on guys? Welcome back to Raspberry Pi course video. I'm Mehdi Shakil and guys today in this video I'm going to talk about a very special update comes from Raspberry Pi Foundation about the Raspberry Pi Images software. Now the headless setup of Raspberry Pi is very easy using the Raspberry Pi Images software. In my previous video I show you that how you can set up your SSH connection, VNC connection on your Raspberry Pi using the external files. But now you can easily set up those options using the Raspberry Pi Imager during the first time flash of the Raspberry Pi OS on your SD card. So guys in this video I am going to show you the step by step guide to how you can set up the Raspberry Pi Imager headlessly using the latest Raspberry Pi Imager software. So without talking too much let's get into the video. So guys here now you can see my desktop screen. To set up Raspberry Pi headless. First open up your browser, then search on Google Raspberry Pi and go to Raspberry Pi official website. Now from there navigate to software and click on our software. Then scroll down and download the latest Raspberry Pi imager for your operating system and install it on your computer. Then again scroll down and download the Raspberry Pi OS zip file. Also you can do it using the Raspberry Pi imager if you want. I had already downloaded the imager and Raspberry Pi OS file and also installed the Raspberry Pi imager on my computer. So go ahead, open Raspberry Pi imager from the start menu, then click on choose OS and select the first option if you want to directly download and flash the OS. And if you had already downloaded, then scroll down to the use custom option and select your Raspberry Pi OS zip file. Then click here on choose storage and select your SD card. Then on your keyboard press Ctrl Shift plus X and it will open a advanced configuration page on your Raspberry Pi Imager. Using these settings you can set up your Raspberry Pi headless option like set up SSH, auto Wi-Fi connect and other stuffs. Now check on hostname and from here you can change the Raspberry Pi hostname if you want. Then select enable SSH and set the password for your SSH connection whatever you want. Then select configure Wi-Fi and type your Wi-Fi name here and the password for your Wi-Fi network. Then again scroll down and select your country from this drop down menu. And that's all. Now save the configuration. Then click on write to flash the Raspberry Pi OS on SD card and it will start flashing. It gonna take some time to get flashed. So wait until it completed. When the flashing is completed, remove the SD card from your computer and insert it into your Raspberry Pi and power on it. Now if you go to your router admin panel, you will see your Raspberry Pi is automatically get connected with your router. And now using the Raspberry Pi IP address, you can easily get access to your Raspberry Pi using SSH or VNC. If you didn't watch my previous video, then watch them to know how to take use of SSH and VNC viewer to use Raspberry Pi headlessly. So guys, that's all for today. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.